Hi there, it's Gay Lynn. I'm here again representing Unity Stamp Company. I am going to be showing how to, how I create with Copic markers and pattern paper trimming. I am using the stamp kit by Unity called Stay In Touch. It's really sweet. It has a mailbox with flowers on top. And I'm using pattern paper by Jen Hadfield. It's single-sided, six by six paper pad called Every Day. And I am using green and yellow hues. I'm using dies by My Creative Time, Stick, stitched rectangular dies and tag dies. I'm also going to hand cut a few accent flags. I'm using adhesive buttons and twine and Copic markers. The Copics will be listed on my blog. I'm going to show you how I just simply use scissors and pattern paper to make a little flag. I make sort of a rectangle, then I, I cut it at the bottom in the center, and then I to make the flag part, I just cut outward towards the inside to um, just make that flag style. Um, you know, you don't have to make a flag style. You can leave them rectangles, you can make them circles, however you like. Um, for coloring, for Copic coloring, I, I probably don't follow the rules, the Copic rules. I've not really taken a Copic class per se. I just like to use the colors that I already own. And I try to use layering to get the shades and hues that I want. So I'm starting with um, light gray in some areas and I'll come in with a medium gray and then I'll come in with a darker gray especially where I want um, shadows and then I'll go back again to the lighter grays um, and sometimes I repeat that depending on how large a surface or uh, how rich I want the color. Now um, to accent I'm using red in small areas where the flowers are. I try not to to color it in too solid because I'm going to come back with a yellow and go over the parts that look white initially to give it more of a red yellow flower variation uh, look to it. Now coming in with a yellow on some of the flowers And uh, for the leaves, I'm choosing a light green. Yeah, and I'm just filling in some of, the, some of the leaf colors. I'm using some of the green at the bottom of the mailbox where the grass would be. And I blend a few different colors just to make it uh, shaded at the bottom. And I, I add gray as well to the green. Now I'm painting the mailbox I decided to make it look like a wooden pole, so I, I came in with a, a light tan. And then I'll, um, see I decided to add some more layers towards the bottom. I'm, I'm coming in with a darker, a darker brown. And I just use swishing motions, a swish from top down and from bottom up. Not, not solid, I just uh, want it to look like there's a reflection in the center, so or a lighter space in the center where sunlight would get. So I, I like to do the edges in the darker colors. And coming in with another gray at the bottom. Now for the yellow, I wanted to add a little of a darker yellow, a light orange to the center of each of those petals. Now for the whole image, I'm going to outline it in a mint, a sort of a very light mint color. It's, it's hard to tell on the video and, um, and in the pictures, but it really does make it look like it has a little definition and a little, a little, um, a little layered look, even though it's not layered. Now I have pre die cut flags and I decided to line them up how I wanted them and then just adhere the two flags together um, just so you can see a little piece of each flag. Um, I'm adding the hand cut tiny flags to the side just for added accent and I'm adding um, 
a couple of adhesive dots to that to finish and some twine. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.